Hmm? I said, what's your name? God. Who's your daddy? Jan. Is he just <laughs> like me? Hmm. Jan? I'm Jan Jr. Jan? Jan Jr. How long have you gone, long have you gone by Jan Jr.? Never. <laughs> Never one time? I'm John. John Jr. I'm John Jr. Mm. John Ray. Walter Cronkite. Is it pronounced Ray for real? Yeah. Because it's spelled R-E-A. Yes. So do you realize that you're you're pronouncing it wrong? Uh, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> I was only like told that since birth. When so. did you find out you were an Indian? Uh, you know what? That's a funny question. Uh, probably like right around the time I started going to to school. So, uh, kindergarten age. Like really? Five, six. So before that, you were just whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty That's much. cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. I turn your gain up a little bit because you're talking like a bitch right now. You a bitch right now. But that's the intro. We already started recording. Here's the intro song. <gasps> your mic smells weird. Well, stop smelling it. Yeah, yeah. Some people. Did you spray this with like axe or something? I sprayed it with axe. Well, your dick smells like axe. That's not even my beer bong. That was the intro by Sir S I R R, very very talented artist here in Amarillo. This song is called "Lesson or a Blessing." I like her voice a lot. I'll put a I'll put a link to the song after I post the podcast. Excuse me, I'm a little hammered. I'm here with John Ray. Hey, what's up? I've been calling him Ria my whole life. He goes by just John on stage. He's a local comedian. How long you been telling jokes, bro? Uh, you know what? Uh. You know, just right after I decided not to kill myself. So, eh, about December. <laughs> December. Yeah. Excellent. So, like, seven months right now. Yeah. Seven months since you made the mistake of not killing yourself. It's almost full term. It's, it's <laughs> not too late to terminate, bro. <laughs> it is too late. Don't do it. It's not a person now. If you do it, I'm going to steal all your jokes. Oh, well, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so tell me, um, tell me about the pride, the pride show you were at earlier. How'd that go, dude? It was. What was it like? Because I've never seen, I've never been to a pride event. It was super, fucking awesome and lame at the same time. Really? Yeah. Uh, I got up super early because you know my roommates. They were the ones. The, that's the only reason I was going is because helping my roommates out. They do this water marbling. They like make make scarves and shit. Like, like I didn't. Were they go. rainbow scarves? Well, it's whatever you want. It's like you can just like drop fucking paint in the water and you dip the scarf in it. And like you can't fuck it up. Like their kids make them, mm. and they have not fucked one up. Yeah, I haven't seen a bad one yet. A bad so, scarf. Yeah, I have not seen one. Well, I guess <laughs> you should meet my grandmother. Yeah. Well, uh, like that's the only reason why I went. Why I went. We're like we're like you know what? They can make their own scarves. How do you fuck that shit up? Like we're going to a gay thing. Gay people love scars. Yeah, I was like, well, fuck yeah, we're going to sell out today, right? And, you know, it didn't go that way. But we, you know, it was okay. Was pretty it pretty packed? Were there a lot of heads there? Are you kidding me? Hell yeah. Hmm. I mean, like, I don't know what to say, man. Like, it was like everybody who was gay in town was there today. So. Was there? I don't know what that number is. Uh, like well, thousand? Like Several hundred? Well, I'm kind of disappointed because I didn't see any of my friends there, so that just confirms my suspicions that they're all closeted. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was in my closet when I was uh, picking out clothes, so I, mm. can, I can relate. I, I can tell. That's cool. Yeah, you can. You can. <sighs> I'm a little drunk right now. But, um, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, the Pride Parade. Do they have like any um, like popsicle shaped like dicks or anything fun? Are you kidding? <laughs> what wasn't shaped like a dick today? It was everything. Oh, totally. 
I mean, maybe, I maybe, maybe, that's a, maybe that's like a Freudian thing. I don't know. <laughs> a what thing? A Freudian thing. What like is that? Sigmund Freud, you know? The guys that got eaten by tigers? That sounds cooler. <laughs> Sigmund and Freud. Who's Sigmund and Freud? Sigmund Freud. Oh, is that one person? Oh, my God. Never mind. You know what? No, go ahead. Tell me who it is. Google it right now. <laughs> I'll Google it right now. Sigmund and Freud. If you're listening Not right now. Not Sigmund and Freud. We are it's live. It's Siegfried and Freud. You're listening to Clemente's Corner. I forgot to introduce everybody. Siegfried. Hey, say it one more time. Sigmund Freud. You don't know about this guy? Are you serious? You're Sigmund. I'm not fucking like, with you, bro. I feel I mean, like Clemente's I've, fucking with me. I've heard, I've heard Freud, the name. You ever heard of like a Freudian slip? The guy that pretty much decided that... I have no idea what you're saying right he's now. He's like one of the pioneers of psychology. He's an Austrian neurologist known as the founding father of psychoanalysis. Oh, wow, right. <laughs> but, like, no, I haven't... I mean, I've heard his name, but he was born the same year my grandfather was born. What? Yeah. Oh, no, he died the same year my grandfather was born. Never mind, this dude's old as shit. <laughs> I was going to say, like, what? <laughs> yeah. He's born well, in 1856. Your grandfather old as fuck, yo. <laughs> died in 1939. He would be old as fuck. But he's dead now. Seriously, your mic, your mic smell weird. You're smelling Axe. Stop. Do you smell the, Do you spray these with Axe? I don't fucking do anything to the mic. Stop smelling the mic. You're the weirdest fucking person of all time, bro. I just want everyone to know I'm here with John Ray. He's the weirdest dude of all time. We were just in the gas station. We we're at the convenience store. This motherfucker got on a dirt bike. There was a dirt bike in the gas station. There was a dirt bike in the convenience Why store. Why would you not get on? He it? got on it, and as he got on it, he kicked like thirty-five Red Bulls. But he left that and part spread out. Spread them all over the floor. He left the part out that there was a bunch of Red Bulls around it. There was a bunch of Red Bulls around <laughs> it. This motherfucker. It's a display. What, he's like, he's like thirty <laughs> years old. And he acts like he's twelve and a half. Shut up! It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no. You ain't got no discipline. You rack discipline. Rack of discipline. Rack of very much of discipline. You know what? I have fun. Okay. <laughs> Don't touch me. But what were you saying about Sigmund Freud? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, the show tonight, the show tonight was fun. How do you feel about it? Uh, you know what? It was really cool, dude. I actually had a lot of fun. Uh, Unfortunately for me, I had a bunch of shit that I wrote today while I was like sitting there in the gay booth, you know, yeah. doing gay stuff with the gay scars. And I left, my, I left my na- no, my, <laughs> I left my notebook in the fucking back of the car. So. Bro, you leave your fucking notebook everywhere. Yeah. You've, le- you've left your notebook in my car at least three times. Yeah, that, that's being generous. Yeah, <laughs> right it is being that. generous. I was being polite in front of the fans. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I lose my shit everywhere. In front of my 20 fans. What up, y'all? How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, all 20 It's 11.06 you. on a Sunday night. I like the odds And I'm that. a little drunk. <laughs> my mom went to my show and she got me drinks. Yeah. So auntie. I got a little hammered. Don't say auntie. <laughs> You're so creepy, bro. You're the creepiest motherfucker of all time. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I explained earlier. Me and John have been doing comedy a while together. This yeah. guy, he, he used to go to open mics, but then he got depressed and shit. Stop getting depressed, bro. Dude, I can't help it. Yes, you can. Yeah. Uh, well, you can help uh, it. It's the power of your mind, bro. Well, uh, Use your mind. Uh, Be out here with your mind and shit. I'm a little drunk, bro. It's usually it's usually more organized, but um, you started doing comedy in Wichita, right? Yeah, uh, uh yeah, actually, uh, it was pretty fun up there. Uh, it's kind of a different environment. Like everybody up there is like super liberal, and I don't know. I've kind of got like an aggressive demeanor. I don't know. Like I've been told by a few people, like like when you're in the room, I'm like for some reason, if it's something I'm really passionate about, I'm just like. You know what, man? I don't like that shit. I'm, I'm, I've something. never seen that. Doesn't come out all gangster like that. Well, I'm, usually because it's I'm dealing with the comedy fucks. I'm yeah. trying to be nice. To, like, Honestly, a lot of a with. lot of people, more multiple people have told me like, I can't understand a word that guy's saying. Damn, because you get because you get up on the mic and you're like, <laughs> but like recently you've gotten better at it. I've noticed that. I've noticed the progression. So that's cool. It's cool to see. Uh, yeah, I, I've been trying my best. As long as I can hear me on the fucking stage, that's like where I'm at. And no, you've definitely gotten better. Yeah. Well, uh, that hurt my feelings, but you know what? It's good. What hurt your feelings? The like you that told people me can't to, hear you. Yeah, you told me this before, but like I didn't know that like that's what everybody else thought too. Like, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, why are they laughing? Maybe just at me, not because I'm funny. <laughs> Of only a couple people told me that, but it's just like you used to get all up on the mic and like be like, hey, "What's up, girl?" Yeah, mm. and no one could hear you. 
but yeah i mean you you have gotten better so that's cool it was a good night it was a good night for comedy i mean i thought more people were going to show up but you know most people hate kids so i guess that's really what it is they're all tired from doing gay stuff (laughs) (laughs) yeah we picked a gay night to do comedy yeah the gayest night possible to be exact night of the year in amarillo uh, pride day well actually for the last uh month it's not really like it's not so much the depression. It's like the depression was kind of like the kicker. On top of that, like my life's been like fucking crazy. Like we had to replace the sewer line, the gas line. The city sent us a letter because our hedges are too tall. Like it's every weekend, I only get one, like one day off a weekend. Like, do you really? You work six days a week? Well, I get a day off during the week, but I still have to fucking help out around the house. So oh yeah, kind of at like your it. friend's house. Yeah. Where I live, it's like a roommate situation, but it's a whole house. Like, so the, you know, this has to get done. And if you don't do it, then you suck dick and you're kicked out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I'll mow grass and cut the fucking hedge. Better than sucking dick. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said yeah like six times already. So I was just repeating it back to you. I said a lot. Yeah, yeah. What made you want to get into comedy? Like, did you, um, did someone inspire you to do it? Did you always want to do it? What was, what's the story? What's your background? Well, uh, I don't know. I grew, I have a lot of siblings, and I've always felt I was the funniest of my, my siblings. My mother even told me, like, you know what, JJ, shit's fucked up. Well, my, like, this is me paraphrasing. My mother never said these words to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did you say JJ? Shut up. <laughs> you go by JJ? No, well, in my family. I'm John. JJ, the um, jet plane. Fuck. That's me. See? God damn it. I knew it. I didn't want to tell. <laughs> this is why you don't share shit. <laughs> well, no, I'm John Jr. So my nickname was J- JJ. That's my Juan family. Jr. <laughs> Juan Jr. <laughs> That's right. Well, my mom always told me, like, no matter what's happening, I always found the lighter side of, like, the most fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I mean, I don't know. For instance, uh, one one day after like we had a bad storm come through, we were living in Oklahoma at the time, and uh, the barn blew over, and we had to tear it down. Like a couple days later, and uh, we we're we were uh, trying to salvage what lumber we could, and there was this huge ass fucking goddamn bull snake, and my dad didn't know what it was at the time. He just thought, he thought it was a rattlesnake. He cut it fucking <laughs> he hit it with the machete, of course, and uh. There was only like I don't know four inches of snake behind his head. You know, it was like the the snake was probably like six feet long, and it was like I don't know this much snake. This imagine four inches, like a foot. No, oh, you didn't hold up inches. four inches. You said four inches. Four inches. Okay. Well, you said four inches, and then you said there were six feet behind it. Yeah, the other half of the snake, dude. <laughs> so it was six foot four. Yeah, I didn't say they were equal halves. <laughs> no, you didn't. That was, you did a bad job explaining. But go ahead. Okay. Well, it's a six foot snake. Six and, foot snake. And uh, my dad cut off like the fucking first four inches. Like he's got like yeah. Basically, he removed the head. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so it was still wiggling around. All of us are like sitting there, open mouth. It'll again. wiggle for like a solid thirty minutes. Dude, like I've, I've chopped a, a rattlesnake head off before, and it wiggled for a long time. Yeah, yeah totally. And like. My little brothers and my sister and my mom are just kind of sitting there like agape, staring at it like... Agape. Yeah, you know, my dad's just kind of like staring at it too. And uh, I was like, you know what he's saying? Everybody looks at me like, he can't, I can't feel my legs. You know, my, mom, my mom slapped the shit out of me. I can't feel my legs. Everybody laughs. That's funny. It's, I know. It's like, it's stupid. It was like a little example. Was, I don't know. I no, like, like this, I, I can relate to that because I've always been that way. Like everybody's laughing. You know, they always told me uh, I have a dry sense of humor. When I asked my mom, because like, somebody told me that, like, what does that mean? And she told me it's like, well, it's whenever uh, nobody's laughing but you, asshole. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been sarcastic as shit my whole life. I like it. I mean, it serves a pur- It serves its purpose. It does. It does serve its purpose. You know, because you can you can hit subjects that people are afraid to talk about, and you can make them funny. Like mass shootings. <laughs> I joke about those a lot. I joke about death a lot. Yeah. Because I think death is taboo. Death is something people don't want to talk about. Death is something don't, people don't want to talk think about. It happens all the time. And though. I bring it up as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's going to happen to all of us. Yeah, like, it is, it is going to happen. Why not, why not develop a sense of humor about it? Yeah. Like people are fucking 
people i don't understand why people are so angry about politics like even if you hate trump like just laugh about it it's a joke you know have a good time like you don't you only have so much time on this earth enjoy it you know don't sit there angry all fucking day you look like a bitch <laughs> especially over something so dumb as as I'm like I'm I'm just in a bad mood because I didn't like how Trump said that shit. I'm like what the fuck is wrong with you? Go eat yeah. ice cream. Trump, Trump like what tr- the fuck, dude? <laughs> Trump doesn't affect your life. The president shouldn't affect your life. If the president affects your life, you're a bitch. Honestly, you 100 percent you're a bitch. <laughs> like, and then you got the people on the opposite uh, end of the, expe- uh, the the spectrum saying like, what do you mean? Like he has nothing to do with how you live your daily life. I'm like, well, I'm still gonna go fuck this bitch and eat an ice cream cone. Or <laughs> exactly, like he hasn't changed my life at all. Whoever the president, Obama didn't change my life. Bush didn't change my life. Trump's not gonna change my life. Trump's not gonna change my life for the next four years because he's probably gonna get reelected. I don't think anyone's going to come up against him. You know what? Uh, Democrats I, don't have anybody. Last night I was really drunk when I came back from the strip club. And I almost entered the, I guess, the sweepstakes to uh, go meet Trump. I was like, you know what? And then, like, I literally fell asleep with my hand on my phone, like, debating. Like, eh. but I didn't want to, like, shit. I'd, I'd fucking meet him. I'd love well, to meet him. Why the fuck not? I mean, I'm not saying, like, that he's the coolest dude in the world. Like, But it's a president. No, he's cool as fuck. I'd meet him. I'd hang out with him. I'd get high with him. Fuck yeah. He was, he's probably got, like, the dankest of weed. He definitely has the dankest of weed. He has to with the shit he does. <laughs> No, he actually doesn't. He actually doesn't do any drugs, which I find interesting. He's he's honestly he's the first president that I actually like. Yeah, because uh, you know what, like, I I can really see like that he is legitimately le- legitimately trying. He's doing his thing. Yeah, well, he's, and I respect it. He's been saying this shit since the eighties that he wanted to do yeah. this shit. And he's been he's been saying he's been talking about what he wants to do as president. Since like 2015, and he's doing everything he said he was going to do, and people are like, "Why the fuck is he doing this?" Like he told you he was going to do this a year and a half ago. But <laughs> whenever somebody comes up with some bullshit, like blah 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 blah, like says something outrageous, he like you can see it in his face. He's just like, Pfft. "No, <laughs> he's, he's fucking wild." I hope I hope that he does stand up like after he's done with being a president because he's fucking hilarious. <laughs> he's so fucking funny. <laughs> when he the way he talks shit to people, I'm just like, "God damn!" Like I think I respect him so much. Because I would be the same way if I was president. Like, I'd be a total fucking dickhead. Everybody knows I'm full of shit, but... <laughs> I'd, I'd be a complete asshole. I'd be the exact same way. I'd be like, you know what? Fuck Rosie O'Donnell. Hillary Clinton's a bitch. Her vagina smells like shit. That would be me. That would be me as like, president. You know what? Fuck Rosie and her Rosie Tower. Oh, she doesn't have one. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I, I think we live in a crazy time. Dude, we do. We live I'm in an like, insane time. Dude, the internet was like... Whenever I was growing up, I grew up in the country, out in the middle of Oklahoma. Like, if you want to get on the internet, like, you had to fucking make sure nobody fucking called you. Like, yeah, I remember <laughs> dial-up. That shit was fucking nuts. And, like, getting on the internet after my parents went to sleep in the middle of a trailer house. like Trying the, to jerk off. Yeah, well, I used to play StarCraft, actually. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I would call it. Yeah, that's, that's what I called it. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, that that dial up modem, like I thought it was the speakers because I remember I unplugged the speakers one night and my dad came out because he heard it. I was like in the middle of unplugging it and then, like you know he beat the shit out of me naturally because he could still hear it. I was like trying yeah. to figure out where it came from. Uh, it turns out it's in the it was in the tower. So like every time I got on the internet, I throw a towel over the tower. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Weird. Did it, it work? Weird. Totally. He tried to take away the keyboard with infantry units and point out, but like, hey, look, go blow stuff up over there. Here's the Greek coordinates on a map, you know. Mm-hmm. He, so he told artillery where to blow shit up at. It nice. Was, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So yeah. that that's is that why you joined the army? Uh, well, I mean, it's a lot of things. I mean, like, I don't want to sit here and talk about my dad's career, but yeah, I'll give him like a whole. You know, let's give him like 15 seconds. Okay, you remember the movie Black Hawk Down? Yeah, my dad was there. That when that shit busted out, busted out. He uh, he went. He he's a ranger. He was deployed with them, and he was there with when they went to go get the bodies out of the the helicopters got shot down. And when he came back, he was a different person. Like he was not even like he took away my super soaker. My, did like, he really? Why did he take right? Why did he take away your super? Because he was mad about guns. Like he was like he was different. Like he was not really? right for years and years and years. But I respect this man. Like he went, he went through a lot. He put up with my shit. I tried to burn down the house when I was a kid. <laughs> Damn, not on purpose. I mean, it's like I was playing with his lighter that I found in the basement. 
But uh, yeah, he he uh, my dad he did he did the, he did the best. He shouldn't have made so many of us. <laughs> How many siblings do you have? Four. Damn. Or excuse me, five. Five siblings. I'm the I'm the yeah I'm the eldest. That's more things you never talk about. I feel like you don't talk about your life enough. Yeah, because my life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's more reason to talk about it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I love my siblings. We, like. That's where half my comedy comes from. That's where I get my sense of humor from. It's like, you know what? At least you ain't getting your ass kicked as hard as I am. You know, face punch. How many are older and how many are younger? I am the oldest. Really? Yes. Mm. So I got the brunt of the knuckle fist. That's cool. So you were like the experiment, and then they were like, your parents were like, let's not do that shit again. Well, we'll beat them, like, you know, less. <laughs> yeah, we'll beat them less. We'll, we won't beat them retarded like we did John. Beat you, know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the what, way, um, I'm, I'm not Mexican. Just are both <laughs> your parents native? Uh, no, my dad's a ginger. From where? Like Scottish? Uh, Irish? Irish German. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm your mom's Native full, American? Full-blooded Lakota, yeah. Lakota? Lakota. See, I've La- never even heard of Lakota. Lakota Sioux? I don't know. You ever heard of Setting Bowl or like Custer and all that shit? Mundini. I've heard of crazy, all of those. Cr- crazy Horse? Yeah. 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 That, that's the one. Excellent. Yeah. So it's like the most notable one, I guess, if you could pick something. So you get, you should get free college, right? And you went to the Army, so you should have double free college. Motherfucker, no. You should be a doctor for free. That's what everybody thinks. What yeah, I should be. I guess I should be. I don't know, but... You're at least 50% native. Yeah, totally. So you get free college right there. Fuck no. Do you know how that works? The... You only got to be like 20%. No. Uh, man, I don't know how to break this down. Uh, all right. like Let's shorten this shit as much as we can. Uh, it's government funding. The government has to give your tribe that much money, and the gov- the tribe allots how much money they give out to their members. Oh, okay. And they know you, and they're like, we're not giving this motherfucker money. They don't give my tribe shit. My tribe lives in squalor, dude. What's wrong with your tribe? Uh, we won't sell the Black Hills. Whoa, y'all hate black people? Uh, we love black people. <laughs> you won't sell the Black Hills? What's that mean? The Black Hills, it's like sacred to my people. You know, like, you ever, like, uh... I don't know. You ever heard of like Sturgis, the Black Hills, like that area? Like no, uh, Sturgis. Where's that? Damn, Oklahoma. I don't want to educate you. Like they're the same. Yeah, fucking educate me. We're here to educate. <laughs> All right. These this place is like sacred to my people. Uh, the Black Hills is where God lives. Like that's which God? Our God. I right. God. God. I'm a, I don't like know. an Indian God. I guess. I like mean, like not the not the like, not the God of like the Bible, but like a different one. No, same God. He like, he doesn't live anywhere in on Earth. I don't know. I'm an atheist. So I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Like apparently to my people, that is where God lives. Like, like and where, that, where, where he told us that is our fucking. This is this and uh, this is where that's sacred to us. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck with this shit. Is basically what he told us. And, and uh, where is that located? In South Dakota. And North Dakota, like South Dakota, <laughs> South Dakota. God lives in South Dakota. South Dakota <laughs> and South North Dakota. There you go. What the fuck is South North Dakota? That's a contradiction. The other, the southern half of North Dakota. I don't know. Yeah, you just say South. You don't say South North. Your mic. Smelling. Stop smelling the fucking mic, bro. <laughs> Ain't nothing on the mic. You tripping balls. You out here. You out here acting all like Indian, like microphone smells like cocaine. It doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> well, look like good. cocaine. Anyway, so, well, the whole thing is the government has this long standing offer that they're going to buy the Black Hills for my people mm-hmm. for millions and millions of dollars. Guess why? What? Because there's supposedly gold there. Oh, God and gold. Well, maybe a golden god, maybe a golden calf. Oh. <gasps> well, my people aren't mining it, so, you know, like, yeah, apparent- get your shit together, people. <laughs> Out here in South North Dakota. Well, uh, that's like all the other tribes. Hey, check it out though. Uh, what are what are the other tribes around here? Like, go to Oklahoma. What do they got? I don't know. They got casinos. Bingo. What else do they got? Fucking dirt. Smoke shops. They got smoke shops. Like, yeah, they can sell tobacco. They can fucking they open casinos. My tribe. Oh, yeah. tobacco. Tobacco don't count. Yeah. They're talking about weed. The, like the Comanche tribes, the Apaches, they they get fucking shit tons of money. I'm Apache. Sort. Like I said, uh, these tribes, they get a lot of money. Yeah, fuck your tribe. Apache all day. Bitch. Shut the fuck up. I'm talking. <laughs> Man, you asked me a question. Like, oh. My bad. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Well, anyways, 
in my eyes, this is what I've seen. Fuck your eyes. Sorry, continue. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> well, uh, like I said, like my tribe, they're not allowed to fucking do shit. They can't have casinos up there. They can't do smoke shops. Like we can't do anything fun except Good. for you know drink and kill each other. And uh, so I'm pretty, I'm down and convinced it's because they they won't let, they won't pass these laws to let's have casinos and shit. It's because they want the Black Hills. All the other tribes, meanwhile, they get to have all the fun casinos. Like I could wish mm-hmm. I could like joke about how my tribe has casinos. But you could, you can joke right now. You can joke, be like, I got the only fucking Indian tribe that doesn't own casinos. Fucking bullshit. Oh, well, that's the point. Yeah, make, <laughs> make it funny. Make it well, funny. Ah, make it funny. Ah, it's yeah. like you de- you de- ah, you degrade your a big part of comedy is degrading yourself and being like, my sh- my life sucks. I ain't stop sniffing the fucking <laughs> microphone, bro. I will shove the microphone up your ass. Anyways, anyways, way. <laughs> Pride Month is almost over. <laughs> yeah, that'll be hate crime. <laughs> Shout out to Pride. We're all proud of the rainbow. Yeah. I saw so many fucking pride flags today. I was like, oh, how much is this going for? Yeah. A lot. Actually, it turns out like 25 bucks a pop. 25 bucks for a rainbow flag? You know what? Uh, back in the day, me and my dad, actually, uh, we had a store. We took over this old lady's flea market. We rented it out. And she's just like, yeah, just move all the shit from one side to the other. Oh, my bad. Bump the mic. You're good. And uh, there was a box I found in the back back half of the uh, whatever. I was, I was just go, just like. I don't know, I was just rooting through shit. And I found a box, like, seriously, like, almost as tall as you. Like, bullshit. Full, full of rebel flags. Oh, and, that's my type of box. Well, I showed my mom, and she's like, that's racist as fuck. And, like, I'm like, yeah, you're right, mom. Mm, but nobody should ever see this. And I just, like, you know, I left it there. And now, you know, like, what was it, like, five or six years ago? Whatever, all that whole fucking. Well, it wasn't even that far long ago. It was like two or three years ago, huh? What? Whatever it was, like, they were trying to change the state flag. And fucking what was it? what state was that? Alabama. I don't. I don't fucking even know. I don't know. Is it the one that has a rebel flag on it? Yeah, that one. Anyways, and then you see, start seeing all these rebel flags around here. And then I was like asking, how much are they going for? And they're like fifty bucks. I was like, damn. You were I, gonna buy a rebel flag? No, I just wanted. I wanted to know. I was like, how much are those? How much are you guys paying for these? I'm like, out of curiosity, like, why do I need a rebel flag? I was driving a fucking Cadillac at the time. Like, well, I'm going to drive around with a Cadillac, well, Cadillac with the rebel flag on the back. No. Uh, I was just like, I just want to know how like, how much did you pay for that shit? Like, where'd you get it? Because I was thinking back to like when I had that giant box full of folded rebel flags still in the plastic. And this was, was I guess, when it was still kind of taboo. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I found a gold mine. It would be like the probably the third time in my life where I found something that was ahead of its time. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. One of, one of the times was uh, I found a bunch of fucking pills. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Where? I don't want to go into details, but uh, I found a bunch of pills that turned out they were like worth 19 bucks a piece on the street. And I had like hundreds of them. <laughs> I was like playing with them. You don't I know remember. what type of pills they were? I, I know exactly what kind they were. Oh. And the, the, uh, Opiate kind, you know. Opiate. Oh, yeah. A little racy. I know. I know. I know. Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia. What? I don't know. What, Mississippi. What? Mississippi has the most racist looking flag. Oh, so they all have? <laughs> all? Mississippi is the only state still incorporating the Confederate battle emblem into its state flag. Oh, well. <laughs> Voters endorsed it by margin of almost two to one in a 2001 referendum. Oh. Hear that? That's facts, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we Google our shit. <laughs> but uh, there's five states that kind of have a, a version of the Confederate flag. But the Mississippi one is the one that's like straight up. Well, which is the one that got their shit pulled down? I get, I'm did, guessing did Mississippi. They, did they change it? Mississippi has the Confederate flag in the corner of their own flag. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, well. M-I-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. That's how I learned to spell it. Just like B A N N N A. You, you, can't even, you can't even spell banana right now, bro. Because I'm drunk. Get your shit together. Are you really drunk? A wee bit. That's cool. More than usual. Bro, tonight was fun, right? <laughs> yeah. I thought more people were going to show up, but it was still fun. 
Yeah, I, I thought more people cared about like little kids who got shot in the head. Yeah, I thought more people cared about you know violence and children. But y'all don't give a fuck. Shout out to all my friends that didn't show up. I hate y'all. I'm just playing. Y'all are cool. Thank you for listening. Keep listening. I know this is probably a bad episode just because we're both hammered and I'm usually sober and I'm usually more on point. But this episode's going well. You know, we're 30 minutes in. We out here. We're drinking water. We're drinking beer. We're spilling beer. And, you know, hoes. Quit asking me personal questions. <laughs> All right, he's, he wants me to ask him some more personal questions. God damn it. <laughs> so when, what age did you first start masturbating? It was a weird summer for me. I found a duffel bag full of porn. Because <laughs> I was 13, uh, and I feel like 13 was kind of late. Actually, it's funny that you should mention that, because I yeah. did literally find an army, duff, army duffel bag stuffed to the top with porn. Was it your dad's? Well, obviously it wasn't the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have found it in an antique shop or something. That was, like I said, it was a weird summer. It was, like, really hot. Like, you know, it was humid. But it out. was. Oh. You know, like, I never got to the bottom of it. Really? So you never got to look at all the bushes? Oh, no. Where, no. Did everyone have a bush in that magazine? Well, I couldn't speak. Like, I couldn't read half of the shit. So it was, like, half of it was probably You from can't Germany. read vagina? From Germany. Like, I'm talking oh, about, Oh, German like, porn. Dude, like half of those mold magazines were like mostly articles, like with a bunch of bush and like obnoxious jugs. But uh, yeah, I, I, it's a funny story. Uh, we had a really bad storm, and it blew the shed away, and the, like we all piled into the the car, the family car, me and my siblings, my mom and dad. We all like went and found, we went somewhere else because we we're worried our trailer house was gonna blow away. It happens. I used to live in a trailer. We came back that or later that night, you know, and we're like, well, that trailer house is still there. Fuck yeah, let's go to sleep. Woke up early the next morning to like, you know, repair the damage. Had a one of part of which was the horse barn from a tornado. Yeah, uh, no, it was just a uh, it was a really strong st- thunderstorm. Mm. And uh, anyway, <laughs> well, my dad was like, go pick up all that paper because we had a couple acres. You know, it's like all along the fucking the. Uh, the barbed wire fence like that separated the houses Alone. so like in between our house and the Alone. neighbor's house and my dad was go like go pick all that trash up and my mom apparently she had already went over there she was started picking up and she stopped us she's like no 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 get your asses back over there and then she i like my dad was like go do something over there i can't remember some menial task like pick this up mm-hmm. and then they were arguing there for like a good 20 minutes turns out it was like all those porno mags was it really <laughs> the out the bag yard? of porno mags like was to the countryside <laughs> like were you trying to beat off as you were picking them up uh i never got to pick them up my mom picked them up because oh. she was trying to save me but like she, she didn't little did mom know I already seen yeah i've already like, seen nipples mom yeah I'm a man now. <laughs> I, I remember my uh, my funny, gran- st- funny story. My dad caught himself on fire that day. <laughs> For how? Trying to burn all the poor. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. That's karma. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna bor- You're gonna burn your vices. You know, they're gonna burn you. Mm. That's 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 life. That's intense shit, bro. It's a journey of life, bro. It comes full circle. It's okay, the circle got, of life. Lion King. <laughs> Dad got burned by porn. Mufasa's <laughs> dead, bro. Mufasa's fucking dead. Tell my kids you love Papa, but uh, we you gotta know. kill Scar. He <laughs> fucking killed Mufasa. He could have saved him, but he didn't. <laughs> you're, you're, Fuck you're, you, Scar. You you know those scars on your Papa? <laughs> he got burned into porn fire. <laughs> Live action Lion King, starring Donald Glover. Donald Glover. What's your opinion? What do you mean live action? Like there's a lot. Of, there's a live action Lion King coming out, starring Donald Glover as Simba. What? As Simba? As Simba. Bullshit. Bull, not shit. What's the opposite of bullshit? Bull piss. Are you sure he's not Mufasa? I swear he's not. Mufasa what? dies in the opening. Who credits. the fuck is? You, you don't know who Simba is? Simba is the son of Mufasa. Yes. Then who the fuck? Well, if it's anybody, who the fuck is Donald Glover's dad? Mo- he's probably the same guy that that guy that played Darth Vader, that black guy. James Earl Jones. James Earl. Like- I'm James Earl Jones. <laughs> I am Mufasa. So James Earl Jones is gonna be fucking Dan- Danny Glover's dad. Hmm. No. Nah. <laughs> Nigga, die. You play. <laughs> like, for real. I swear, James Earl Jones is Donald Glover's dad. Dude, no. 
<laughs> stupid way. No. <laughs> it's not stupid. Why is that so hard to believe? They're not, they're not the same age. Wait, you said Donald Glover. Okay, I thought you meant Danny Glover. No, Danny Glover, that would be weird. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole different dude. Oh, okay. Never I'm mind. too old for this shit. <laughs> exactly. That's my first fucking thing. <laughs> never mind. Okay, guys. Uh, to retract for the last five minutes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Lethal Weapon 5. <laughs> that's the only thing I know Danny Glover from. Have you seen any other movies besides Lethal Weapon? Yeah, lots of stuff. Really? Yeah. One of them, uh, he was with uh, Joe Pesci when the uh, what is it called? Gone Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I like making that sound. I'm gonna look up some Danny Glover films. If you're listening to the podcast right now, give us a call. Call in at eight seven 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 seven, and uh, you'll get to talk to us live here on the podcast. We have a lot of people calling in. Oh, the phones are blowing up. Let's get our first caller. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. Um, dude, he's mostly been Lethal Weapon. Yeah, I was gonna say he. Uh, I, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's been a lot of stuff, but no, it's a. There's a list of his uh, like filmography, but like I don't know any of these fucking movies. He's in Death Race Four. Um, <laughs> there was four of those. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that either. The first one had Sil- Sylvester Stallone. The first one had Chet Chilios. I am the transporter. No, I mean like the first Death Race. Yeah, I mean the first first Death Race. No, the one that came out in like nineteen the seventies. Oh, I didn't know it was a remake. Yeah. Oh shit. Sylvester Stallone was in it, and he totally burned out on somebody's ass. What does that mean? Like he ran over somebody and like did a burnout on their ass. For real? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> he, the Good job, was... Sylvester. <laughs> he beat up Dolph Lundgren once. What? <laughs> yeah. After after Dolph Lundgren killed Mr. T. I think it was it Mr. T that he killed. I don't know. He killed a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Mr. T. It definitely wasn't Mr. T. Now I'm racist as shit. I'm sorry. I'm Talk sorry, about audience. Clover Lang. <laughs> you don't all look alike. I just don't remember the dude who fought, who who Dolph Lundgren beat the shit out of. Donald Glover. How do I get Donald Glover and Tanny Glover? Do you know who Donald Glover is? Oh uh, yeah, that dude that. Uh, this is America. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't <laughs> Yeah, shot the guy. Ooh, stop sni- Why are you <laughs> sniffing the microphone, bro? No one's ever sniffed the microphone. It smells you, weird. I'm you are kidding. the weirdest dude of all time. Yeah. So I'm, I feel like you got people buried in a basement somewhere. Nah. Then I'd be tied to the earth. I just burned them. You just burned them? <laughs> you got their ashes in the basement. <clears throat> this is America. Don't catch you. Mm-hmm. 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 So you did uh, how many how many times did you perform in Kansas before you moved to Texas? Uh as often as I could. Um uh, I think I had one let's see from the from December to late February, so like once a week. I don't know. I guess I'll I'll give myself the benefit of that like eight times. Eight times. Yeah. How many open mics did you say they have a week in there? Uh, it was in Wichita, right? Yeah. Uh, there was Wichita. Least, yeah. Uh, I think they had at least one every week to other every other week. So about like Amarillo. Yeah. Because this guy, um, dude. Whenever I first started doing it with you, there was like it was like I don't know. There was fucking open mic like all the time, and then there was nothing, and then it got weird. I got depressed, and shit was breaking at my house. Oh no, it's the same. It's the same amount as it was. The only thing we might have lost the Ar- Arbana open mic. It's the only thing we might have lost. But um, did I'm you see the? Did you see the first guy perform tonight? Were you there for the first performer? Yeah, the guy from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said he got to hit twenty three open mics a week. Can you imagine doing twenty three open mics a week? I can't because that's ridiculous. His shit was good. He reminded me a lot of Kyle Kinane. But it was, I mean, it, his shit was pretty funny. Yeah, his shit was good. But like twenty three open mics a week, yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah, but then you you see these guys. No disrespect to him, but I see that guy and I'm like, I feel like I'm. I don't want to say I'm just as good, but I have the potential to be just as good as he is. And I've only performed really here, Lubbock and Fort Collins. I performed in three places, but I feel like I could go to I could go to Chicago and I could do that shit. You know what I mean? Totes. 
fuck yeah it's, <laughs> it gets me excited it gets me excited to see comics from other places and i'm just like bro yeah. we can we can roll together we can rock this shit I and mean, it's not that it's not that I think so highly of myself. It's just that. Well, I mean, it's always good to look highly on yourself because it like, is to an extent. But like, I mean, don't be on like, what's that weird? Part? I don't. I don't. I'm not like full of myself or anything. Narcissistic. Yeah, 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 I'm not narcissistic by any means. But I, like, I am. But at the same time, I know I know that I have talent, and I know that I can that I can get better, and I know. I know that I can go farther. You know, like I know I'm not gonna stop in Amarillo, or even, or even in Texas. Well, uh, whenever I started doing comedy, I told myself, this is a no-fail mission. If you're going to start doing this shit, like, you have to live now, not kill yourself. And like, Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Don't be suicidal. If you ever if you ever feel like killing yourself, call me. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm over that for the most part. Be over it. No, but I'm saying, like, if it comes back, call me. No, totally, dude. All right. No, no, no. Fuck that like, shit, bro. Yeah, I, I've i pretty much swept that shit on the rug. Like, it's good. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not, a, not that person anymore. I'm different. I'm, kind of, I'm trying to That's grow good. up. That's good. That's good. Well, like to an extent, like because I think I think people get so in such a depressive state that they don't realize that people love them. Like they don't realize the impact they have on the world, and then they take their own life. And all these people are sad. And it's just like you had no idea, like how many people cared about you because yeah. you were so, you were so in such a dark place that you couldn't even think about it. Well, I love my mama, I love my daddy, I love my kids. You know? Oh yeah, man. And my siblings can go suck it. Do your kids? <laughs> <laughs> I love Do your it. kids love live here in <laughs> Texas? Uh, yeah, uh, to my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have like uh, any rights, visitations, or anything? Sorry, I'm getting too personal. We can we can cut it off. Uh, speaking of walls, <laughs> I always hate. Why why are all the apartments in this fucking town painted the same fucking color? I got a blue wall over here. Are you tripping? Not everybody got a blue wall. No, actually, that's when I moved in, they were like, "You have a blue wall. Do you want us to paint it?" And I was like, "I don't give a fuck what color my walls are. I'm just trying to live." <laughs> it's nice that you have a, a fucking fireplace. Yeah, that's why I got this place because it came with a washer and dryer and it came with a fireplace. Oh, so Santa can come in. All right, cool. Yes, yeah, Santa Claus, because I'm German now. <laughs> Dude, uh, apparently, um, I met this couple today. I was like, in the middle of like, we were in the middle of breaking down. I looked over, I was like, saw a blonde German Shepherd, like. I was like, what the fuck? Is that a yellow German Shepherd? And like, they all stopped. I'm like, eh, yeah, I guess it is. And like, I was the only one, apparently, well, fuck y'all. I'm fascinated by this shit. I gotta like go, what's his name? Like, oh, it's a uh, Bubba. And I'm like, oh, what's up, Bubba? What's up, dude? And he's like, this huge fucking dog. <laughs> like, if a person, if I was on all fours, that's how big this fucking dog was. And I'm like, oh, man, he's a good dog. I, I thought it was that big. Dude, you have no idea. <laughs> big fucking dog. <laughs> like 200 pounds? Huge dog. Anyways, well, I, I was just like, "Oh man, what's that's that's weird as fuck." Y'all got a German dog, and like, or not? Excuse me. I, I guess I, the punchline came too soon. But no, they had a Schnauzer also. <laughs> <laughs> they also had a Schnauzer. <laughs> Fucking up jokes. Yep. Yeah, that's me. Uh, but it was they, like I said, they had a Schnauzer as well, and I was like, "Oh." You got a schnauzer too? Fuck yeah, y'all both got German dogs. And they kind of looked at each other. Like, you could kind of tell they, like, never put two and two together before. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, my God, we have German dogs. As I'm walking away, I got to pee. <laughs> oh, I'm fiving in the background. It's stupid. You're wild. No. Well, yeah, that's the wildest thing that happened to me all day. I'm out of control. I thought, the, I thought the pride parade was pretty wild. It was. It was. Yeah. I was just, like the only reason I didn't get glittered today because I knew I was gonna wash out by my. Did you catch any dildos in your mouth? Almost. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. The point is, you tried. Mm, yeah. You did your best. They greased them too much. <laughs> <laughs> too much lube on these. So, so I told them. Like, yeah. You know, he's yeah. Like, like that's well. That's how, how do we think we get your money? I was like, take the dildo go up off the ground. <laughs> Dill does. Dill does. Dill didn't. <laughs> so a deer, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun. I don't know why I'm singing right now. Ray and Dildo, though, they go together. God damn it, they do. <laughs> no, they do. Thanks, thanks for that. Have you ever um, taken it up the butt? Taken what up the butt? We got a suppository? It was medicine. Okay, Matt. <laughs> it was supposed to make me better. At least that's what my scout leader said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my goodness that was funny that was funny (laughs) 
<laughs> at Leftwoods, I made a joke about a Catholic priest trying to fuck me, and nobody laughed. And I was just like, really? Y'all don't laugh at Catholic priests? I can't believe that was one of, like, one of your fucking, one of my favorite jokes from here. I haven't heard you say it in a while. Wow. Yeah. Like, at least that would, oh, you pray the gay away. <laughs> yeah, that was the same one. That was the same one. I brought it back for Leftwoods, and they were like, eh. Like, oh. I don't laugh at Catholic priests. I love making fun of Catholics. Speaking of Leftwoods, I bought a shirt from them today. Really? I can help myself. Apparently, if we get... We, you have a shirt from them, too, right? But are you fucking wind in your headphones? What is going on right now? Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. The yeah, the door's closed, right? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Maybe it's not making a sound, but I hear wind. But go uh, ahead. Yeah, Sorry. I totally hear wind, too. I think there's a uh, ghost in my house. <laughs> a windy ghost. <laughs> well, uh, no, I bought, a, I bought a t-shirt from Leftwoods today. Shout out to Leftwoods. And I thought about you today. I fucking love Leftwoods. Yeah, me too. Uh, but no, uh, ter- apparently you bought a le- you bought you got a Leftwoods shirt too, right? I got this shirt from Leftwoods. It was from a comedian from Indiana. No, I mean an actual shirt that says Leftwoods. No, no. I got this. I got it on my laptop though. Hey, hey, we'll make one. <laughs> but apparently, if we shout ta- out to Leftwoods, I love y'all. Apparently, if we take pictures with our Leftwoods Leftwoods shirts on, yeah. and tag their their Facebook page, they'll buy a shots. So my thing thinking is. Uh, We'll just go ahead and like you know stack them up and go cash them in all at once, and they'll have to give us a bottle. Maybe. How many shots do you think it takes to make a bottle? Well, how many ounces come in like a liter? Yeah, but they don't follow the rules when it comes to bottles. We have to convert like you know metric to you know, English now. That's cool though. So you have a Leftwood shirt? Yeah, I bought one today. Where'd you get it? At Leftwoods? Uh, Diego was out there with his wife. Really? At, they had a booth. Oh, and we kind of had that, like, one of those weird, like, kind of like, as I was walking by, I was also uh, like, like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that dirty, unwashed hair. What's up, dude? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, oh, I thought you were going to say hi earlier when you walked by. Like, oh, Leftwoods is my favorite venue. Dude. I like 806 a lot, too, but Leftwoods takes it. I like how I got kicked off the fucking porch for smoking a blind next to the fucking... Yeah, and the, you smoked it without me. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you could have came with me. I but. didn't know you were going to continue, so I thought you were putting it out. Oh, well. <laughs> I thought, I, what I thought you were going to do is thought you were going to put it out and we are going to smoke it later. Well, why'd I walk away with it, yo? I even looked at you. I even lo- You were too busy flirting with that fucking chick with the I dog. wasn't flirting. I'm trying to get on stage, brah. The one with the back. Bro. Well, we were on stage at that point. I wasn't flirting with any of them bitches. You know what? I'll smoke a blunt with you. Just to make up for it. Okay. okay, we'll smoke a blunt after the podcast. I don't get high, y'all. I don't smoke. Yeah, no, weed's for losers. I have an ongoing oh. joke about how I don't smoke. Yeah. So please, John, tell everyone that I don't smoke. No, he doesn't. He just smokes PCP like the rest of us. Yeah, just PCP. Just a gallon of PCP a day. A, da- a gallon of PCP a day takes the doctor away or something. Keeps the doctor away. Make y'all sure, know what I mean. Make sure Mike's not I got like the ads. Chicago Blues. Hey, um, who was, uh, do you, do you follow any, like, comedians right now that are, they're popping right now, or who's your? Who would you say influenced you? Like as a kid, you saw a comedian, made you want to do comedy. Who made you, aside from like your family, aside from personal experiences, did you did you witness any comedians that were like, I want to do this? Uh, actually, uh, yeah, I'd have to say Robin Williams, dude. Robin Williams, he's fucking hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> like his uh, it was after nine eleven. Like I, was, really? I used to like, I don't know. Uh, I grew up pretty sheltered. Mm-hmm. Like the only times I got to see comedians, like I'd have to like, we, like I said, we grew up in a trailer house. So the the TV, luckily where the TV was placed from my bedroom in relation to the hallway, like I could poke my, I could like pretend I was in bed and like put my head like look straight down the hallway and I could see oh, really? the TV. So you could have your door open and yeah. still see the TV. And my, luckily my dad had HBO at the time, so, oh, so you, <laughs> could, you could see some titties. Oh yeah, and uh, but yeah, uh, I guess Robin Williams and. Uh, Mostly Robin Williams. Uh, the Chappelle Show. Oh, I fucking love that. That's, that's the greatest, <laughs> greatest sketch show of all time to this day. Uh, it actually, lasted two seasons. Uh, the Chappelle Show, and I watched Half Baked. I'm like, actually, like most Great of the movie fucking, as well. like my mom, my mom and dad were weird. They're like, yeah. you can't watch this on HBO, but they would rent us R-rated movies. <laughs> like my all mom the was the same way. My mom used to take me into R-rated movies. Actually, Jim Carrey was like a really big influence. Jim like, Carrey's huge, man. I mean, right. he's got he's got some mental problems. Yeah, could, obviously. Yeah, but he's fucking <laughs> legendary, legendary, completely. One I, of the I'm like, greatest. Don't judge me, but if I told you like one the, of the funniest humans you, to like, ever live, the two my two favorite movies from him were like How the Grinch Stole Christmas and Dumb and Dumber. Not in that order necessarily, but like, what about Ace Ventura? 
It was hard to get into as a kid. I, really? I, I, I couldn't that understand fucking... half the jokes. They went over my head. Now I'm an adult. Like, fuck yeah. yeah. But when I was a kid, you're asking when I was a kid. Like, okay, those were funny. Yeah, memory. I got you. I got you. Like, That's now funny. I'm an adult. Like, this shit's fucking hilarious. The Grinch didn't come out when you were a kid, though. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Did it really? Yes. How old are you? Old as fuck. Because I, th- I, feel, <laughs> I feel like I was, like, at least 10 when the Grinch came out. Well, that, that would make you, like, at least 16. Look, I... You might be right, but no, 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 no. What year did the Grinch come out? I'm about to, I'm about to check, bro. That man, you're about to make me look like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jim Carrey has so many good movies too. Liar, liar, that was a great one. It came out in 2000. Never mind, you're right. We were both kids. I was only six. I fuck. I didn't realize it was that old. Yeah, dude. Hey, son that of chick, a bitch. That chick that was a uh, that that played Cindy Lou Who. She's totally in a metal band now. Really? E. Yeah. Bro, stop saying ye. I'll never do that. That's more annoying than your also. wink. Stop fucking. <laughs> God damn it. This guy winks at you like he wants to fuck you. Like all the time. All uh, the time. I've done it like several times throughout the podcast. He just won't look at me you, or acknowledge you, it. So you'd make now. a great sex offender. Ace oh. Venture. Have you seen the Truman Show? Bruce Almighty, that's a fucking classic. Dude, the as Truman well. Show fucked me up for a long Truman time. Truman Show still fucks me up to this day. Actually, uh, they I named think about the Truman Show. On they a named daily a basis. Psych- they named a psychosis after that shit. Did you know that? Nuh-uh. Yeah, look it up. Like after that show, after that movie came out, a bunch of people like had this great fear of like there being cameras everywhere, and they really they literally named it after that shit. We're in that phase. We have Alexa. It's a it's possible now. Amazon has that speaker that you talk to that records everything you say. Oh, uh, did you hear about Samsung? No. No, uh, Samsung has that, like, fucking, there's a camera and, like, a recording device and that shit. And, uh, like, a bunch of people, like, well, can it be hacked into? Uh, are you listening to this all the time? And then Samsung kept pushing it away, like, no, 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 whatever, we'll talk about it later. It took, they had to, like, my dad even, like, my dad even did, my dad didn't believe me. Until he looked up on Snopes, because I told him that shit, because he kept buying. He's like, through stick to the three S's, son. Samsung, Sony, and Samsway, or whatever. And uh, he looked it up. Like, apparently, they had to get sued. Samsung had to get sued before they were like, okay, yeah, we're recording you all the time. Really? Yeah. And uh, basically, their their fix was, don't say anything personal in front of the TV, and always hide your personal information from the TV. From the TV or from the... What about your phone? Samsung makes phones too. Dun, dun, dun. Do the, do the noise. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit behind right now. Yeah. Wait, say, say, say dun, dun, dun one more time. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> That's crazy. They got in trouble. Did you hear about the... It, they had to get sued twice before really? they would finally tell... Yeah, before they finally came forward with that shit. Wow. And I, so I was just recording constantly. So it wasn't just all the math. I well, was I feel like along. I feel like this <laughs> laptop definitely records me. Oh, totally. But um, just that scares me because I've taken, I've taken a handful of dick pics. You know, stop sniffing the mic. Never. What what is wrong with you? It smells weird. It doesn't. It doesn't smell like anything. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Well, smell it. I'm not gonna smell it. Smell it. Now. No, I'm not gonna smell. Yeah. I'm not gonna smell the microphone. Smell it. Don't fuck. No, stop it. Smell your hair. No cross your eyes. <laughs> One day I'm going to murder you, John. Pinche Juan. Please. Pinche puto. Pendejo. <laughs> um, but did you hear about that? There's a Chinese company that, that it's a phone service, but it's not allowed in the United States. Ah, and yeah. Fizzy Bubbly. Yeah. No, I have no idea. What the fuck is, what? It's ZTE. But it's not allowed in the United States, and they're saying... Like the ones that make the ZTE, isn't it? Wait, no, that's a... It's a huge company. It's one of the biggest companies in the world, but they're not allowed in the United States because the U.S. government thinks that the Chinese are going to try to hack our hack our shit. Oh, like the, the U.S. government does it to it already? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's the thing with the fucking... With the Russian meddling, like the Russians interfering with our election. Like, we interfere in everyone's election. We influence everybody. You know what I mean? So it's like... How, we can't be mad at anyone else for doing the shit we do. No. Oh. But no, they're not allowed because China China is one of the biggest contributors to like hacking online, like doing online cyber cyber whatever the fuck it's called, cyber warfare. China's the biggest culprit of it. And so they're not allowed we're not allowed to have this whole company 
in the United States, but it's like the second biggest company in the world. But God forbid we should let them hack us. We only owe them like trillions of dollars. Yeah, but no one in America knows about this company, even though they're like, they're taking over the rest of the world. And it, it kind of blows my mind. You know, I read in Maxim a long time ago. Yeah, a very, you know, reputable fucking source. <laughs> like, go ahead and just don't come. lie. Check the scoreboard. Like, go ahead and like, you know, that pretty much the, the, uh, the, <laughs> what it was is go ahead and start learning fucking uh, man, uh, Mandarin now. <laughs> Ni hao. <laughs> shai, shai. <laughs> Ni hao, Thailand. <laughs> right, have, um, have you watched any, like, comedians live? What do you mean, like you? Not like real ones, you know. Like, oh, you're not. A real I'm not a real one. I'm talking about a professional that gets paid. Why do you? Why are you not a real one? I mean, I'm real and to an extent, but I don't get money. Like, I'm not. I Girl. feel like I feel like you're not a professional. You're downgrading yourself right now, like a lot. I'm always downgrading myself. Stop. But it. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like you're not a real comic. <laughs> you're not a real comic no. unless it's unless it's your main job. And that's kind of rude. No, I don't mean it that way. Because there are really good comics that still have jobs. Ouch, kabibbles. There are really good <laughs> comics that still have jobs. But like, I, I won't, I won't call myself a comedian, like a real comedian, until it's I don't need a nine to five to support myself. Dude, I'm a comedian every day. What are you talking about? Like, life is that a doesn't joke. count. But have you, girl? Have you? <laughs> I'm about to just drop this shit and go pee, and just like leave it here and like go pee. Talk. I'll talk with myself. I'm fucking entertaining shit. But well, um, well, tell them why you're not a real comedian. And, like, give me at least uh, what we say. I already, ex- I already explained the real reason because I still have a nine to five. Bro, you're depressing as fuck. How's that depressed? That's not depressing. I already wanted to kill myself. Like. <laughs> You're making it worse. You're not I mean, I'm a. I'll call myself a comic, but like, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna be satisfied until I'm at the point to where I can. Oh, you want to be like famous and shit. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to be famous. I just want to be able to. Oh, uh, what's the difference? There's not a fuck you. <laughs> Let me fucking talk. Bitch. Okay. All right. I'm not satisfied. Until I don't need a side job, until I don't need a side hustle, until I'm I'm okay. able to all do right. what I love with nothing else. Okay, yeah, all like right. Podcasts right. and stand up. I, I can understand that. Yeah, my dad told me the same thing. He's like, you know, you're not gonna make a living out of that shit. I'm like, you know what, dad, I hate you anyway. So. <laughs> no, I mean, you're I mean, not. You're not gonna I mean, make a living right, for a long time. I, I fucking hate it. He's right. I'm. I'm, I'm like. I never. I, it's not. Whatever you I told him, I wanted to be a comedian. He yeah. he thought that that's what I meant. I'm like, I'm gonna do this for a living. Like, no, but you man. don't. You don't get into it to do it for a living. Like if you're if you're in it to make money, your your heart's already in the wrong place, and you're gonna fail. I don't, don't want to be famous. I'm ugly as hell, and like like I'm I'm ready to be broke the rest of my life. Like this is what I enjoy doing. Like if I can, if I'm poor, living paycheck to paycheck, but I'm on stage six days a week. Fucking, that's my dream. That's I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. If I make five hundred dollars a month, and I'm barely getting by, I'm in shitload of debt. But I'm having the time of my life. I don't give a shit. That's that's pretty much where I was when I started. I don't give two fucks. I was working three jobs at the time, trying to stay, save up for a fucking Harley, living in a shitty apartment in Wichita, yeah. Kansas. My roommates hated me. I was stealing their food. Like I mean, like in the like in the uh, uh, they're not going to miss this. <laughs> like kind of turn. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. That's always fun. That's what I miss about roommates because I'd sit there. And if their leftovers are in there over three days, I'm like, I'm about to eat your shit. I'm not even going to tell you I'm going to eat your shit. You're, you didn't write your name on it, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was, I was that roommate, too. I would be fucking, oh, this Chinese food's been in here for a while. Somebody came and knocked on my door one it's day. It's my turn. They were shaking an empty cereal box at me. I was just like, open the door. I was like, what's that? Like, it's empty. I'm like, I know, right? Just shut the door in their face. <laughs> why would, who was it? Was it your roommate? Yeah. Why was he, why was he outside the house? No, well, I, it was we lived in a house together. Oh, it was like your bedroom door. Yeah. Okay, I was taking like, an empty cereal box of me. Like, I was oh, like, no. why is this dude outside? But never <laughs> like, mind, never mind. Yeah, he's all like, this is empty. I'm like, I know, right? And I just shut the door <laughs> in his face and went back to sleep. Bro, what was your um? What was your job in the army? Uh, I did field artillery. Field artillery. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, thirteen Bravo. So you, did you like load up like, uh, mortars and shit? No, that's a that's a. Oh, that's a, a infantry job. That would be 11 Chuck. No, uh, I rode around. I would like to say it was glorious as, like, you know, like you see, like, a, where they're, like, got the fucking, the, what, what we call the the triple seven, you know, where, like, you got the whole, te- the whole team of guys out, like, fucking 
you know, no, we were, I was in the Paladin. It was a self-propelled howitzer. I know this means nothing to you. But howitzer, I've heard of that. I wasn't even the fucking pal- the, the, the Paladin, dude. I was in the ammo track. I'm not going to lie. Like, all I did was, like, picked up fucking... We went and picked up ammo. I, like, loaded it up and carried it to the gun. Like, did you enjoy it while you were in it? Oh, yeah. I had tons of fun, man. That's cool. Like... Are you kidding Were me? You? Like I met some of the best people on this planet. Do you think if I do you think if I joined, I'd still be able to do stand up like on the weekends? Yeah, you wind up like the that other dude from Lubbock. You know what other dude? The lame one that talked about like you know having a phone call with his mom, touching his wiener. Was he there tonight? No. Remember we went? Oh, oh that dude. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. That guy's cringy, dude. Yeah. Talking about masturbating while I was on the phone with his mom? Yeah. Motherfucker, what? Yeah. Like, I'm, no offense if you're listening, dude, but you fucking, that's too far. I don't care. That's too far. Yeah, bro. Uh, that's too dirty. Like, I, I, I push the envelope, but I don't fucking, I don't sorry, jerk Butter- off talking <laughs> to my mom. Sorry, Mr. Butterbar. Yeah. No, he's just, I feel like there's a, you can, <laughs> you can go to certain places, but you have to be funny. You know what I mean? Like. The further you push it, the funnier you have to be. Like, and he pushed it all the fucking way out there. And he's not that funny. If we're being honest, he's not funny. No, no, he's not. He's not, not funny. At all. I, I mean, like, this is me coming respectfully, yeah. respectfully from being a former yeah. soldier to uh, now I'm a civilian. And I got my DT-14 my DT blanket to protect me. And I'm sorry, like, dude, like, eh. I mean, there's a balance. There's a balance between shock value. It's and not humor. me. Just it's not me talking shit. It just there's a balance funny. between shock value and humor, and he was just straight shock value, no humor. It wasn't and funny. It was just like it didn't, it didn't make me laugh. I was just yeah, more, more like, all. is this guy done yet? Like, uh, yeah, that happens. That happens. I don't. I don't like talking shit on people, especially when they're not in front of me. No, I don't like talking shit on people either. But like, you well, got to be honest sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, but yeah, uh, I feel like your comedy might suffer like that <laughs> because you'll have a lot. You'll be tied up a lot and. Uh, dealing with stuff that you don't want to do like, yeah imagine having to tell uh okay uh for instance if you're because you have a bachelor degree you're gonna yeah be, you're, you'd be an officer yeah so you're gonna have to like imagine having to figure out how to tell 60 guys how to use the bathroom where, when chow's gonna be uh how to effectively do their job mm-hmm. and uh on top of that, uh, when they resupply, that's just like the first four. And let's go in deeper. You want to go deeper? I'll go real deep. No, you don't. Because <laughs> like after that, it gets stupid. Like, how do you manage your time? And then somewhere in the middle of all this bullshit, like, how do you? Uh, I'm not trying to talk. Like, by all, me- by all means, go be an officer, please. You'd, mm-hmm. probably, be, you'd probably be good at it. But, no, I know I'd be good at it. And I know I'd have good jobs when I got out. But that's the thing. Like, I don't want him to be in a position that takes away from what like I really want to do because I I feel like I'll get sucked into the system, and then I'll find a good job, and then I just won't give a fuck about comedy, and that's my biggest fear. Well, I mean, like I said, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of like well, like one of those off the mic. If you really want to do this conversations, like we can talk about it later. Yeah. But because uh, there's only one reason you're going in for it. Is it a job, or are you going to want? You do you want to go out there and lead men? I just want the experience. Do you want the job or do you want to go lead men? I just want the experience. Lame. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about the job. I mean, leading would be cool. I think I, I, I think I'm a natural leader. I think I could definitely do that. But like, I'm still at the end of the day, I still want to be a comedian. More mm-hmm. than anything else. Well, then you made your choice. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I think I just started thinking about it because the, the Cause fucking army hit me up. They messaged me on Facebook. Those are people's lives, dude. It's not, it's not a joke. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Don't wink at me. That was a serious wink. <laughs> that was a serious wink. It wasn't, that wasn't like I'm playing a dog. I was like, for real. <laughs> serious wink. <laughs> Cause I, I like, I, some of the best people I met were in the army. Like, they don't fuck around. Like, Oh yeah, yeah. They're, they're it's ride or die. <laughs> That's what it is. Absolutely. And you know who the shitbags are, and you still look out for them. You have to. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. But uh, yeah, man. Like you know what? You know what I'm looking forward to this year. What? Flying cars. Oh wait, is that, is that a thing? <laughs> I mean, like in slow and like in 
not mass. There's, I mean, they've existed since like oh seven. Ah, uh, oh, oh, we gotta hit the speed bump. They haven't so been fast. mass produced yet. <laughs> but I remember reading Popular Mechanics, and they had flying cars in that bitch. You know what? Because I, I haven't asked you this, but do you like to skateboard? No, no. I can't skateboard. Do you? Damn, yeah. I can't see you skateboarding. I'm, it's because I'm fat. I don't know. Do you bust ass a lot? No. You don't look like you got good balance. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, actually, I'm pretty nimble on my feet, bro. Really? Yeah. I don't believe you. That, that's what everybody in basics said. <laughs> and they were right, huh? <coughs> to an extent. To an extent. <laughs> I'm pretty nimble. Like, I, I'll surprise you. Uh, really? What about paintball? I love paintball. Yeah. Paintball's oh, badass. Oh, girl. We about to... We... Okay. You down for some paintball? Yeah. I can, I can get a team together. Damn, I don't have paintball, a paintball gun, though. I don't either. We can go around one. Oh, that's man. not that's not bad. I've done that before. Damn. Oh, you know what? Uh, actually, one of the last things I did before I got out of the Army, we had a, retre- what about, a paintball retreat. What about Airsoft? Do you like Airsoft? Yeah. Because I know a guy. I have his card. I can call him tomorrow. We can set something up. I work tomorrow, though. All I right. mean, we're not going to start tomorrow. I'm oh, I say, him. fuck, dude. Tomorrow's Monday. I'll call him tomorrow, and I'll set a date. Yee. Yeah. Okay. All right. I feel it. All right. Because it's fun as shit. It is. I like paintball more than airsoft. Airsoft's fun, too. I was buying airsoft when it was, like, Gen 1, when I was 18 years old. Like, that long ago. Fucking 13 years ago, when that shit was first coming. Like, mm. straight up, like, open the boxes. It's all Chinese. <laughs> like, <that's, laughs> like, damn, this shit might hurt me. I, well, how'd that feel? Like, from across the room, like, first popped it open. Like, ah, I hurt like a bitch. <laughs> uh, you shot me in the eye, you asshole. <laughs> bro, I, did, I did paintball at the at the river, the Canadian River, by River Road. That was so much fucking fun. Because we were, like, one team was hiding in the trees, and the other team was, like, going down to hunt them. It was, it was a blast. It was fun as shit. Damn, I haven't been to the river in a long time. The river's a great place, man. The last time I went out there, I actually... Uh... It was pretty bad, pretty bad night for me. Uh, I used I used to stay with a uh, homeboy and his girlfriend. Is that when you threw a can at some guy's face? Yeah, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Wait, how you know? Oh, I probably already told you. That you told it on stage. I did. You don't even remember that? I was pretty drunk, I guess. <laughs> you told it twice at least. Bullshit. I swear. Damn it! That means I told it twice here and once. Oh man, once in which I talked to. They might, yeah. come out, they might actually come out for me. Maybe I should stop. <laughs> Maybe you should. Yeah. All right. Hey, if you're out there listening, guy, I'm sorry that I hit you in the face with hey, the guy. COVID. Hey, guy. You're not my buddy, guy. Come on, guy. You know what? I'm. I'm. No, no, no. no. Come I'm on, gonna, guy. I can level with them. Hey. If, I'm not if your you friend, got, buddy. If you, if you thought it was fucking Bigfoot and you got hit in the face with a can of Mountain Dew Code Red, I'm sorry. It was me. He thought I, you were Bigfoot? Well, he said Bigfoot as he was falling down. So, so. Do you walk like that? Well, we both like popped up at the same time. And he just woke <laughs> up. Wait, he screamed Bigfoot as you as you hit the, hit him with the can. Uh, Bigfoot fucking hit me with the Mountain Dew. Well, and not as he fell, but when he was getting up, probably like uh, I heard, "Holy really? fuck, it's Bigfoot!" Like, so, how many Bigfoot followers do you think just saw a guy and they're like, "That was definitely Bigfoot." <laughs> Dude, I was watching. You know, I watched that that show, fucking hunt, like finding Bigfoot. Yeah. I, I was wondering if that show, that story is gonna pop up. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's funny as shit, bro. I was watching that for like five minutes one time, and they heard like a scree- <laughs> They heard like a screech in the forest, and they're like, "That sounds just like a Bigfoot screech." Like, what the? Fuck, does a Bigfoot screech sound like, bro? You can't just say shit. You gotta mean shit when you say it. Like, that sounds just like Bigfoot would say. You well, don't fucking know that. Well, according to this guy, it probably would be like, that's not fucking. This, this is beer. This is Mountain Dew. <laughs> that's just like that. That's just like that South Park with Al Gore. When they're like, what does man bear pig droppings look like? Like man droppings, but more bear pig like. <laughs> For realsies. Or super, I'm super cereal. <laughs> I'm super cereal. Global warming. I'm talking, of course, about Man Bear Pig. <laughs> okay, about three fifty. That's probably what it sounds Super like. Super cereal. It shows up. I need about tree fifty. Tree fifty. Tree fifty. <laughs> That's what it, exactly what it sounds like. He like knocks on your door. You're like, oh my god! There's a goddamn Loch Ness monster again. <laughs> I said, what you need, Loch Ness monster? He said, I need about tree fifty. Tree fifty. I said I just gave you tree fitted last week. Oh. Goddamn woman. Oh, I told you to start giving him tree fitted. 
Dude, I have a lot of time. Uh, I, I work at a tire shop, and I got to go pick up tires a lot. So they trust me with the company truck. Do they really? That's fucked up. I wouldn't trust you with shit, bro. I barely trust you on a mic right now. <laughs> Considering what I did as soon as I got here. Yeah, I don't even trust you in a house. <laughs> See what I did to the dirt bike and that Red Bull? Yeah, you fucking <laughs> dropped 30 cans in one sitting. Bruce not even a sitting. Hey. You know what? Let's go back and try it again. We can do better. Would you? It's 24-7. You can do it again. I'm not getting out the car, though. I'm just going to watch from afar. I'm asking you to do it. Did you pick up all the cans? Yes. <laughs> Not that I had to. I was going to help you, but I was like, no, then I'm an accomplice. No, bitch, you just then walked away. I don't want to be an accomplice. I was all like picking up cans, like, you when you're fucking yeah. right. Yeah, I, I could see you looking at me like from across the store, clutching the beer. Like, I didn't want to be involved. You and your fucking raccoon eyes. She wouldn't have let me buy beer because you're ass. Mm. You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> probably right. <laughs> you wild, bro. I'm stupid. Because <laughs> I'm a dirty motherfucker. Nah. Have you seen Life? Yeah. yeah. That's, what <laughs> I, that's, that what, that's what I was quoting. Eddie Murphy. That's the other one. I couldn't think of his Oh, name. Eddie Murphy Raw? Dude, that motherfucker's savage. He destroyed, bro. The fucking... He, he had a bit where he opened up about faggots. I talk about this all the time. Every time I'm on the podcast, I talk about this. Just because I love the fact... I mean, it's just, it's just cool to see the difference in our culture. Like, in the 80s, you could say faggot as openly as you wanted to. But right now, I'd be homophobic. No, no, yeah, you can't say shit. Are you kidding yeah. me? <laughs> oh, fucking! Uh, I like I like his uh, brother, Charlie. Charlie Murphy was really good. I can't believe he's dead. That made me so sad when he oh, died. No shit, dude. Because he died young. He was like what, like in his early fifties. Yeah, and fucking uh, well, early what was the last week? I don't know. We started this thing around the shop. We were like Charlie Murphy, like pop Charlie up. Murphy, and just like punch each other. Fucking couch. <laughs> And then he took us inside and made us pancakes. Well, well, uh, <laughs> pinch, apparently, apparently, we had to explain to the younger kids after being after us doing like popping out from like behind the corner, like charm of it. Like, like, why do you keep doing this? <laughs> Darkness. Like, like, you know what? I'm just gonna show you the fucking skit. And they're like, why did he kick him? <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. He's like, he know where he got that shirt at. And it wasn't the men's department. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the Prince one, though. Uh, yeah, the Prince one. That's, ex- that's exactly what I was about to go with. Like, Game blouses. Because we, uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> we play, we play uh, basketball. We got a fucking hoop. Yeah. Believe it or not, I ball sometimes. Like, mm. Do you really? Yeah. I want to play. I'm not very good. I all, love basketball. All I do is post up in front of you and knock you over. That's all I do, too. But I, have, I can I probably out jump you. Yeah, yeah, totally, because you're, like, you know, ganglier. Yeah, I'm super gangly. I'm, like, you know, more of, like, a power bottom, I guess. Power bottom, <laughs> you said that earlier. You brought it up. <laughs> Definitely a power bottom. But uh, I post up at the right time, that's what they say. Like, fucking, like, God damn it, I was in the middle of, like, trying to do some crossover shit, and, like, just, John just stood there. And yeah, you ran, well, I was like, well, they're like, foul, I'm like, no, you ran into me, bitch. She's like, yeah, you're, right, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. your feet are planted. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> I just stood there, dude. You ran into me. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to say? But now, like, everybody in my shop is, like, super competitive. Really? Are they all Mexican? Oh, yeah. Oh, so you can dominate. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I was about to play a video. Uh-huh. I was about to, this is a clip from Always Sunny about dinner. power bottoms. Come on. Who doesn't like to watch a naked woman swing around on a pole? Gay man, for one. Huh? Huh? I'm gay. <laughs> no. What? Well, you're so big and tough. You do not come across as gay. You don't look like a gay guy. No. That's because he's a bear. Huh? Yeah, he's a bear. You see, some gay guys are twinks and others are bears. This gay guy's a bear. By the way, we're totally cool with that. To each his own. Wait, wait, I'm a little confused here. What's a twink? A uh, twink is small and slender, like Mac. Oh, no. I'm too muscular. I would be a bear. Uh, don't think so, bro. Not hairy enough. Smooth. Size. I would be a bear. No, no, see, I don't think you'd be a bear either. As a matter of fact, I don't know what you would be because you're definitely not a twink. <laughs> I'd be a top, that's for sure. Maybe. Can a twink be a top or is that reserved for bears? I'm sure there's a great deal of switching back and forth, but I think more often than not, bears are tops. Uh, unless they happen to be power bottoms. What's a power bottom? A power bottom is a bottom that is capable of receiving an enormous amount of power. Actually, Mac, you got it backwards. You see, a power bottom is actually <laughs> generating all the power by doing most of the work. Does the power have to do with the size or the strength of the bottom? Now, Dennis, 
I've heard that speed has something to do with it. Speed has everything to do with it. You see, <laughs> the speed Christ, at the bottom inflames like, the top how much pressure you're supposed to exhausting. apply. This is almost exhausting. Speed's the name of the game. Right, buddy? <laughs> but this is, does a very good job of explaining it. Uh, I fucking God love this show. <laughs> Great, so now that you have your silverware all set out, One of my you're favorite shows ever, dude. The... Are you a fan of the show? Oh, totally, dude. I fucking love this show. I think my favorite, uh, my favorite episode is uh, probably the one... Well... I have several favorite episodes, but like the one that the, my most recent favorite one was one where they go to water park. Oh like, yeah, I've yeah, got yeah. AIDS. <laughs> he has to get all... When he's skipping in line. Yeah, like fucking Charlie gives him a bunch of hickeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes down the so much, he goes dude. down the slide all fucking with the water. I can't believe they took it off Netflix. Fucking dickheads, bro. I can't believe that fucking Dennis is bitching out. I'm not gonna go for the next season. Yeah, that's, that's crazy I too. Remember. But I mean, I I guess I get it because they've done it so long. And you want to do other things. Dennis is on another show where he's like a science teacher. Yeah. Well, you know, actually that show looks very good. I'm not going to lie. It does look funny. There's like three or four comedians on there. Kind of like, uh, what, what's that show? Uh, Bad Teacher? Bad Teacher. With, with uh, fucking... not Sandra Bullock. What the... What's her name again? <laughs> that Charlie... girl that played Fiona on Trek. From Charlie's Angels? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That yeah. show was funny, though. It had Jason Segel on there. Everyone says it looked like Jason Segel. Uh, what, how, what's your feelings on Jason Segel? Cameron Diaz. I love Jason Segel. He's hilarious. I love that guy. He's fucking funny. But fun. I love him more when he was on the Muppets. The the, the, the Muppet movie. The the Muppet. I never Dude, watched the Muppet movie. What the fuck is wrong with you? I love musicals. Do you really? <laughs> yes. That explains why you're at the Pride Rally. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love musicals. I love anal sex. You know, both of those. I mostly like watching those anal sex and <laughs> listening to musicals just for anybody who's that kind of thing. <laughs> What's your favorite musical? Ah, uh, The Sound of Music. God damn, you're gay as shit, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Actually, uh, well, my mom, my mom and my dad, I, was, I don't know. It's like, that was like our go to. We had like a relaxing weekend. We'd the all Sound sit there. of Music. Well, I'd just sit there and make fun of it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> the hills are alive. You didn't make fun of it. You know you love that shit. Fuck you. Hey, they you escaped the Nazis, shit. okay, dude? I never watched the whole movie. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny how, like, the oldest sister, like, tried to, like, stay out and hang out. And they, like, kicked her out anyways. Like, you know, these are Nazis, right? <laughs> like, the dad was trying to, like, the mom and dad were like, ah, oh, these are Nazis. You gotta get out of here. What? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't watch the movie. Just made me sound really gay for no reason. Well, it's like a long ass movie, right? Isn't it like four hours or more? I like The Incredibles, too. Is Incredibles that long? Yeah, four hours, dude. Incredibles is four hours. The second one? Yes. The the one that everybody's talking about? It's four hours? Four hours. That's longer than Lord of the Rings. It can't be four hours. Dude, you for real? I'm super I'm super serial. <laughs> I'm not even playing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm not gonna go see it if it's four hours. I ain't got that type of time. I can't afford that much popcorn. You ain't got to eat the whole time. Bitch. Tell me I don't. Unless you want to, I guess. Are you going to dare me? No. <laughs> no. You got a really big coat. I know it's summertime, but I'll still sneak it in. You're going to sneak popcorn in? Like a whole bag or what? Did I say I was going to eat popcorn the whole time? Yeah, you did. Kind of. You in- you insinuated that you were. <laughs> well, fuck. You gave the impression that you would. Do you think they can have microwaves in there? <laughs> no, probably not. Unless you got a microwave in your coat. I got cargo pockets. You got a portable microwave? I can fit a lot of... It runs spig- on batteries? I can fit a lot of spaghetti in my cargo pockets. I bet you can, you curve. <laughs> Speaking of Always Sunny, you seen that, you seen yes, that episode? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. That's what I was You want to have a spa day? <laughs> Are you trying to say spaghetti? <laughs> it's only what I was referencing. <laughs> What's your spaghetti policy? <laughs> oh, great show, great show. It's not a bad episode. Anyway, I don't want to stay up too late. I do got work tomorrow. So we can um, go ahead and wrap it up. It's been a good good episode. Let me see how long we've been going. We've been going an hour 18. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, not Incredibles 4. Or <laughs> Incredibles yeah, definitely 2. not Incredibles 4. Yeah. Well, Incredibles 4 has got to be like what? Uh, Incredibles 2 is 4. So if you do the math right, that would be like 12 hours. Yeah, let's not do that. I have no idea where you're getting these numbers. Stop smelling the mic. What is, why do you do this? Bruh, I'm not going to lie to you. You have issues. Like, I don't know. You like, might like, like, this be is news to me. 
a pedophile. Bro, no. No? Okay, just checking. I have children that I love. Aw. Me too, bro. Like, with their clothes on, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> see, now that you said it that way, it's weird. It's weird now you said it that way. Yep, see? Yeah, you had to just, like, make it weird. You made it weird. <laughs> you made it. Are you a fan of Pete Holmes? Uh, well, yo, from, uh, God damn it, yes. It's yes. too late. You can't. Yeah, from, uh, comedy, God, God damn it, College Humor. Uh, yeah, he know, played P- Batman on College Humor. Yes, 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 that motherfucker, yes. Hilarious. He is hilarious. I was going to pull up uh, some stand-up from him, but all these are, are shows. Here's a, here's a minute 25. To be honest with you guys, I'm happy to be out of the house after the 18 hours of Facebookery this afternoon. <laughs> yep, just the 18 hours for me today. I have no memory of what I was doing before Facebook. What was... Something was there. I was doing, what was it, tilling wheat? What was I doing? (laughs) Now it's just Facebook. And I like it, but I have a theory about it that you can use in your own conversations if there's ever a lull. I think the government made Facebook in an attempt to make privacy uncool. (laughs) Think about that. I think that's true. Because they don't have to tap our phones or survey us when we just yield to them everything (laughs) just on our own free will just like home address it's a little weird okay (laughs) phone number call me photos photos of everyone i know here let me tag those for you it's too late there's no privacy anymore (laughs) photos of everyone i know (laughs) that's adam he deals weed. <laughs> he deals weed. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, Fuck yeah. Mi- yeah. Well, Mr. Villy Guess, it has been a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for bringing me to your apartment for the first time. Thank you for calling me Villy Guess. Yeah. You trying to bone or what? what? Girl. Hey, you know what? I'm Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Later, dudes. I'm out. <laughs> I know what happens at Pride Day. All right, I'm going to play you guys out with... Uh, the remainder of that song i actually had three songs i wanted to play but i just play the rest of sir s-i-r-r i found her on um after i listened to erratic soul he had a song with her and she's so fucking soulful and amazing she's out of amarillo i'll drop a link to her fucking incredible just just listen to this song and please just enjoy it and thank you for listening to episode 32 um i was a little drunk this guy's yelling in my bathroom but uh, we did a show tonight at Zombies, and uh, I've got an upcoming show on the 30th at Urbana Coffee. And then uh, I'll be in Austin the next week, and then I'll be back at Tease Bar setting up my own show. I'll be headlining at Tease Bar. Probably, hopefully I can do 30 minutes. I mean, I'm kind of in charge, so I guess I'm going to go for 30. 30 sounds fun. Not too long. And it's going to be the first show I've ever booked on my own, and the first show I'm going to headline on. So, please come out to Tease Bar. I'll make it free if I can. If not, they'll charge $5 at the door. Whatever. $5 ain't shit. You know it ain't shit. So, just come out and watch. And I'm going to play you guys out with Lesson or a Blessing by Luccavelli and Sir. So, please enjoy. Thank you for listening. I love you. We're going to have sex later. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one are you? Tell me now, cause I can't keep waiting around. Which one are you? Surprise, surprise, you can't disguise the skies. How was I supposed to know? You were a lesson. Yeah, not yeah, a blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luck of Valley. But then you came along. How could you do me like that? I took your family, yeah. yeah. Put some cash in your pocket when you were broke again. Uh-huh. Had scams, replaced the real ones with the fake ones. So the movie mannequins. We would never be friends again. Broke uh-huh. nice, we do say. Everything sway. Ain't what the he says and she says. Nah, nah. And we'll be the main to kick these days. Cook the sex advances. Nah, don't want to can't have. Take it as a lesson and a blessing. We'll be serious.